Hey, how is this going, Neander folk? Today I'm going to talk to you about a Neanderthal's typical toolkit. Um, little disclaimer, Neanderthals would not be carrying these around. Um, these are tools that would be dropped or tools that they could use on the go. So we're going to go from left to right. So this would be a spalling hammer stone. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. Um, this is used for the initial breakdown of a flint nodule, typically a large flint nodule to get large spalls off that can later be turned into hand axes or level wall cores or just outright turned into massive level wall cores, although I'm not sure if there's any archaeological evidence for that. Next is the phase two of the flint napping process. These would be hammer stones that are smaller, as you can see, significantly smaller. Um, this is actually a retired hammer stone of mine, um, but this has made many level wall cores and a lot of hand axes. Um, Neanderthals did not grind their work, so they wouldn't grind the edges smooth. They would actually tap them a lot. So what you can see here is actually me tapping a lot on my work. But this scene, this hammer stone has seen about five to eight years of work. Um, just getting beat up by Anna Dagachert. And then the same thing with uh, this hammer stone. Next is uh, bone retouchers, which there is tons of archaeological evidence for this. There's evidence for Neanderthals using cave bear bones, bison fossils, uh, aurochs, some lion bones, so cave lion. Um, pretty much any ungulate, so that would include deer, horses. Sorry, deer aren't ungulates, but herbivores they'd use herbivore bones typically like long bones or rib bones and usually they were using the bones from the animal that they just killed to research sharpen the tools that they're using to butcher that very animal which is a pretty cool fact to think about and um here are some examples so this is more of an extreme example um so far there's no evidence for anything like this but you can see where i've used it a lot and it didn't really hold up uh, usually, the Neanderthals would split it and you'd get fragments like this that have been used. And you can see where I've used it a bunch. And it's very round and you can see where it's been chipped. Heavily there. Here. You can see the same thing on the edges. And they'd use these sort of like a billet. So a modern billet consists of a, of a, a white tail antler that is just used for taking flinks off and um, here's a reproduction of Otzi's Otzi the Iceman's um, retoucher you see very different it's just an antler tine put in a wooden uh, handle compared to a Neanderthals which would typically be made out of this now these are obviously um, cow bones I do believe this is from a caribou you can see I've used it heavily. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today. Just a quick little video. Um, so, cliff notes, spalling hammer, later reduction, or primary reduction, and then retouchers slash um, final flaking. And then this one was my recent dinner. It's got nice thick walls. It's going to be smashed open to turn into more tools. So yeah. I hope that explains it. And uh, again, this is a modern or a more modern retoucher made by Otzi the Iceman. Or made by me, and it's a replica of Otzi the Iceman's. And this is a white tail billet that most modern flint nappers, or most abo flint nappers use. They call it aboriginal flint napping. Or I just call it primitive flint napping and then that so hammer stones and bone retouchers is typically what a neanderthal would use thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one oh very quickly if i can find it here it is last week i made this transversal transversal that's a weird word transversal um side scraper or reclor uh check it out there will be a link in the description, and it will be at the end of the video. So if you want to see me use Neanderthal-style retouchers to make this tool right here, go ahead and check it out.
Um, you can find me on Facebook, Discord, Instagram, YouTube, and a few other sites. All will be linked down in the description. Thank you again, Neanderfolk, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.